previously on Final Fantasy VII Remake. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. Come on, I'll come you'll too. see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet with us. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. Well, you tried. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Luby Lugs Gaming here. Now, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another video of Final Fantasy VII the Remake. Now, let's do this. <sighs> Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. He's gonna dress now, up as up like a woman. Let us begin. Huh. Hmm. It's gonna be funny to see how we look in this one because I'm used to how it looked back in the original. Because we actually got the dress actually made from the dressmaker. <laughs> you were born for this. Well, have pigtails with pink bows in it, yeah. <laughs> and it was a grey, bluey, grey dress. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> he likes his creation. Come. <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> oh my god. They totally played on this majorly. It's so fun. It's so funny. Shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. You know, because back in the day when, you know, when this game came out, you know, back in 97, you know, we were dressing up as a girl on that. And, uh, you know, it's some people today. used to look at it Ooh, funny. But it's like nowadays, you know, it's kind of everywhere. You know, it's... it's How much did you drink tonight? Oh, oh, I didn't it realize we were controlling um, Did you see their look of surprise? Uh. Oh. oh, Cloud. Now that was a show. I'm gonna look at how it stays. That is what I'm gonna pay my thing for it. Come on, Dad. Cloud going now. Please don't. Okay. Not a worry. Not <laughs> even one? No. But you're so pretty. Right, so we've earned the trophy snappy dresser. Right, so let's go and get our goal. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? 
I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. Oh, ho, ho. Nice. we need to go to the basement, I think, if I if uh, if this plays out anything like uh, the original. There's all the th you the goons. The audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Second floor, okay. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? And she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. <laughs> uh, now when you find out, you won't. Well, unless you're that way inclined. It's so funny. You see, in the original, we went down to the basement. Huh? And that's where Tifa was being kept. What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. Damn it. Oh, we're being uh. gassed. <laughs> That's the guy that we beat in the, in the fight. <laughs> The guy here with the blue top, he was the one that uh, had the two dogs for them. Taking us. Come on now. Don't be crazy. Where the hell? You want to throw down the Corneo's girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lookers this time, though. <laughs> Hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is that Cloud? Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup and that dress. Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> Nailed it, I know. Spot on, I know. Come on, slate go. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I got what I came for. What? So. After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> right, cause you won't listen. Gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so I what see. happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Dawn of the Slums. Do, 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 do. Buy all these things up when they're on the deal. Right, okay. Oh, there's a chest. 
Ah, <laughs> we have to kick it open. Do, 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 do. Oh. What now, was that? ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left oh and up God, the look. stairs. Come That's on, where people ladies. get tied down. Let's oh, no. All right, come on. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? See, I knew you were going to be in, end up in the dungeon. Or in the basement. <laughs> Sex dungeon is uh, near enough. Right, okay. Okay, my beautiful ladies. Time to line up for the dawn. So this is going to be funny seeing what Don Corneo looks like. Mm. I've tried to stay away from a lot of the videos. Mm. Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Coach. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Don Lady. Corneo. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to pick? Oh, yeah. I've got it. I've got it. Today's bride to be is today's and tomorrow's or the day after's if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. <laughs> Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Oh. <laughs> Still we got playing hard to get. <laughs> I can dig it. Oh yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Oh, oh my oh. god. This guy's crazy, <laughs> this man. This kitten's got claws. I love it. <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you could buy you the concession stand. Inappropriate, like say no, asshole. Oh, praise me more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, fellas, we got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself. Never forget the Don provides. Yeah. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah, I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> What the hell? Get down! Don't you stupid! Smack! Oh! 
It's like a wrestling one. A wrestling match with a steel chair. Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. <laughs> I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you. He was always tell talking us down from doing anything at the start, so. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Right, okay. So we are. Better hurry. Better hurry. Alright, cheers, Leslie. See you there, dude. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. Right, where is uh, the Don's room? Is he. Oh, I didn't realize there was a doorway right there. Oops. Come on. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, you two <laughs> One more shot! Go on! You got them. As Aerith, you can hold down triangle to focus your magical energies. Your you That'll do! Cut! Ah. Would kill for a shower. Yeah, you keep saying that. I <laughs> saw so, uh, killed for sure. I was here. Oh no. That takes us back down, so it must be through the back here. Here we go. <laughs> Don't stop. Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am. <laughs> Tell me what a bad boy I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> Here I come, baby. <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners. Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes. Cloud? What? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Yeah, you don't want to mess with Tifa. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if, if you, you don't, don't, I'll rip them off. Uh, <laughs> so you're gonna get cut and ripped. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash him. <gasps> smash him. Oh. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. 
It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Here we go. When they are faced with certain death, when they think they've already won, when they've lost their minds. Oh, I didn't even get to select then. Oh, I'm sorry. Time's up. The answer lies... In the sewers. <laughs> so here we go, down in the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells. Enjoy the shites and smells. Oh, trophy earned, never the bride. Enjoy the shites and smells. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, President. Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Tuesti. Tuesti. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave this video off. Thanks for watching another video of Final Fantasy VII Remake. If you've liked it, High five that like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to smash that subscription button down below. And last but not least, remember, life's a game. So play it well. I'll see you in my next video.